The Orionids meteor shower are an annual shower, so they, it happens every year, and uh, the shower is connected with Halley's Comet, which I think most of us have heard of. It's probably one of the most famous comets of all time. So if you go and look at the Orionids, what you're getting is a chance, a kind of connection to history, seeing the debris from that most recent passage in the 1980s hitting the Earth's atmosphere. The shower is predicted to reach its peak around uh, October the 21st, 22nd, so around that time. It's got quite a long period of time when you should be able to see it, some weeks, but that's the peak time. Well, if you go out, if conditions are good, if there's a reasonable number of meteors, and I have to say that's the kind of unknown quantity in all of this, you never quite know how many you're going to get, then you might see perhaps 20, 30 meteors over the course of an hour. It might be higher, it might be somewhat lower than that, but that's the kind of number to be looking at. The Orionids, like other meteor showers, the best way to view them is just to use your eyes. It's a nice astronomical phenomenon in the sense you don't need any special equipment at all. What you need, though, is a dark sky, so the further away you are from the lights of a bright city, the better. Obviously, you also need a clear sky as well. If it's cloudy and raining, then it's probably sensible just to stay in bed. But, you know, if you have those good conditions, then just go out, lie back, perhaps on a deck chair, um, very well wrapped because it is cold this time of year, and just look up and enjoy the view.